From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New Orleans Saints. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Hurts throwing right away. Buying time to his... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brian Brzee, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they get after them early. They get eight yards back there, and they could use another one of those now on third and seven. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now back to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7 zip.
Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Carr going to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Devin White defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. A first down carry for Barkley won't lead to much as he'll take this forward for maybe a yard. It's second down. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12, second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted them out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal, and we rely on it. You better be prepared because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop them. Hurd's going to keep it again. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Eagles have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now, defense is accounting for all the other runners on the field and, of course, for pass plays. But the quarterback position, oftentimes it is unaccounted for. Offense coordinator felt it, dialed it right up. Inside the red zone is this some And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 25, here's a second and eight. Now Carr. Gets this complete to Shahid. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. Breaks a tackle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Card out of throw. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Is Shahid going to go in motion? And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession from the 33. Here's second down and seven. A give. This is Kamara. And just shedding him off there. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup first down New Orleans. A good chunk of those yards came after contact, and that's an area where he's really starting to excel as a running back. It felt like he was doing a drill that running backs have to perform all the time, especially in pads, called a gauntlet drill. Two guys, you know, people with this, these two rows, you have to go right through the middle of them and make sure you take care of the football and knock people aside. He's performing the drill on that run. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll see about converting this third and eight. Here's Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. A beautiful fake. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. Camara. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Kamara trying again. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are back within a score. They were able to push him backwards on first down, but this time he forces his way in. I wonder if he went back to the huddle and said, guys, just a little bit more help and I can get it done on this one. Maybe even overruled the play call from the sideline, just feeling like he had that opportunity, and he wanted to cash it in. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Barkley inside handoff. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 37. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's taken down here by the Saints. He'll go with the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Said not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll set up a throw. Catch made here by Campbell. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep, Rashid Shaheed. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Quick throw, it's complete. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Throwing now is Carr. And he's got his man on the out route. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes... And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Returnable here from the 38. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. 
Philadelphia's offense ready to go again as we eat closer and closer to intermission. Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. But first down, Hurts being chased out left. Hurts fumbles it, and this is picked up by the Saints. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's into the end zone, a fumble return, and a Saint touchdown. Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone, can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. The point after, good by Groupie. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Throwing is Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Yeah. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. First down, he'll drop to throw. Here's a diving catch right side. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Here's Carr to throw. That's a long day, bringing in another one. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. 55 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Again, it's Camara. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Kamara up the middle, shrugs him off. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. This second and four. Carr. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now Carr. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. But all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on fourth. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? 
taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That almost felt like the defense said, he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Again, Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Groupie able to add the PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not everyone's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as a tackle made at the 15-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. 
Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here's a second and eight. Up the middle with Barkley. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brian Brzee picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially in this part of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter, look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that, because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send a message that says, hey, we're not going away. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. That was an example of excellent defense there. They stuffed him. So now it brings up a third down situation. If I'm calling plays here, I make sure I put in the hands of my quarterback and get it to a receiver real fast. I'm not running the ball here. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Camaro again. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. 72 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Carr now on first down. They'll get this out to Camaro. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Now a play fake, Carr. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll drop the throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was saying about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Car going to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Over the middle, hauled in by Campbell. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. to throw here. And Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Brian Brzee able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Hurts got a man. It's Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 32-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Only three there on the screen at second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Second and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 14. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Oh, a good move at the five. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 67 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you. And he's in for an Eagle 
Bills touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. A late turnover so often the difference in a ball game. And here the turnover leads to the go-ahead touchdown. So repeat after me, partner. You have to take care of the football. In order to protect the lead, you must take care of the football. Ball security. How many times do they have to say it? They've been preaching it since day one of camp, and it came back to bite them right there. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one taken in by Alave. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. And Shahid going to go in motion. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Kamara. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're secure in the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Carr completes it. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the 46, here's second and four. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day on play action now Carr. that's into a crowd and intercepted and the eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line on first and 10, it's Hurts. Campbell making the catch. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. shotgun they run with Barkley and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. I like a guy who understands the situation I also like a guy who you look at him and you say 
That looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they run on first down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run it again with Barkley. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Barkley fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Elliott good on the extra point, And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 39 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Carr. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Final 90 seconds here. It's second and 10. Here's Carr. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Jalen Carter in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
Well, this is getting close to a no-win situation now. They've got one final shot. They're on their end of the field, and it's fourth and long. This might require a little extra razzle-dazzle to get it done. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. That is caught. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, this game's not done just yet. A big conversion there on fourth down and a big gainer as well. They're going to have to play perfect football from here and get all the breaks, but at least they're giving themselves a shot. Car to throw. And that'll be incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. They'll try again here, second and ten. Throwing his car. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Jalen Carter. In there to drop him as that clock continues to run. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? 